Hi everybody and welcome to World Class Standards here at Eastview. That's right, and today we're going to talk a little bit about Bigfoot. No, I am not talking about my teacher. <laughs> Bigfoot. But before we start to talk, welcome our co-anchor pirate, Pirate Kelsey. Hi everybody, I'm Pirate Kelsey. Arrgh, a vast <laughs> Bigfoot, also known as Sasquatch, is like an ape-like cryptid that inhabits forests mainly in the Pacific Northwest region of North America. Ember? Bigfoot is usually described as a large, hairy ape. Pirate Kelsey? Sasquatch means wild man in a Native American language. Maddie? Scientists believe in the existence of Bigfoot consider it to be a folklore and hoax rather than a living animal. Ember? A few scientists, such as Jane Goodall and Jeffrey Meldrum, have interest and belief in this cryptid. Pirate Kelsey? Bigfoot remains one of the more famous examples of a cryptid within the cryptid history and a legend to be found out. Maddie? Bigfoot is usually described in reports as a large, hairy, ape-like creature ranging between 6 to 10 feet tall and covered in dark brown or dark reddish hair. Ember? Witnesses have described large eyes on the top of the head. The head has been described rounded and crested, similar to the male gorilla. Pirate Kelsey? The enormous footprints have been as large as 24 inches long and 8 inches wide. Oh my gosh, Bigfoot is mainly known to be nocturnal. Amber? That is why he is spotted mostly at night. Now it's time for cryptid time with Brianna! Hi, and welcome to Cryptid Time with me, Brianna. Today we are going to talk about a strange creature, the chupacabra. I know what you're thinking. Is my teacher a chupacabra? Nope. The most common description of chupacabra is a reptile-like living thing appearing to have leathery greenish gray skin and sharp spines running down its back. This form stands three to four feet high. In one sighting, the creature is reported to have 20 feet. This variety is said to have a dog-like nose and face, a snake-like tongue, and large fangs. It is said to hiss and screech when scared, as well as leave behind a bad odor. When it screeches, some reports say that it gives the witnesses a sick feeling. Another description of chupacabras describes a strange breed of wild dog. This form is mostly hairless and has fangs and claws. It is claimed that this breed might be an example of a dog-like reptile. Unlike other predators, the chupacabras is said to drain all the animal's blood. This has been a cryptid time. See you next time. Bye. Hit it! Hit it! We hope you enjoyed the show on World Class Standards. Bye! Bye. Bye, I'm twice as adorable as another dog. <laughs> eh, what? <laughs> what? <laughs>